Hi, I'm James from Pulled Apart by Horses and we're at Leeds O2 Academy. When I was a lot younger, I used to travel up to Leeds to watch bands and stuff. But I was obviously very young and this is one of the places where I'd come but I wouldn't necessarily get in. There's a lot of smaller venues that I used to go to when I was kind of discovering the music scene here and one of the ones that stands out to most music fans and musicians here is the Brudenell Social Club, which is kind of like a working men's club in the Hyde Park area of Leeds. I'm Nathan Clark from Brudenell Social Club. Most music venues you're walking, you're in the music venue, you're kind of stuck there. Whereas here you've got the lounge, you can sit out, watch the football, go and play pool. The room lends itself to be flexible in capacity so you can have smaller shows down on the floor and yet you can open it up and have big breaking acts coming through. But it's still at the intimate stage, fans can still see the person here and well. Leeds is full of amazing places. Canal Mills is very new but it's more of a, a space than a venue. Iger Studios is a rehearsal space. Artists go and practice there, but it's also a venue, which is kind of cool because it's bringing two things together. Jumbo Records is an independent record store. It's got t-shirts, it's got all the magazines and fanzines, and you can literally walk in there as a new band with a box of CDs and they'll stock them, which is brilliant for a new band to play a show and say, oh, you can buy our record in town at Jumbo Records. There's a, another new venue called the Belgrave Music Hall, which has got a very sort of rustic feel to it, and it's got three levels and an amazing roof terrace bar. My name's Simon Stevens, and I'm uh, one of the owners here at the Belgrave Music Hall and Canteen in Leeds. There was a few key things that we thought weren't really represented. I mean, there was no one venue that sort of covered food and music and film and somewhere where people could come and hang out. And that was the defining thing about the venue. It's somewhere where you're equally at home at you know, 2 o'clock on a Friday night or 2 o'clock on a Monday afternoon. We knew that there was a massively healthy scene here in Leeds. You know, we've seen it over the last 10 years. We certainly noticed you know, how the O2 Academy strengthened the Leeds scene, put the city on the map a little bit more in terms of somewhere for bands to go and visit. Whether you were doing the show or not, it was just nice for bands to be able to have that kind of journey and progression through from playing venues like the Broodnell and the Cockpit and moving up to the O2 Academy. And for us at the venue, it's great having it just down the road. You know, we certainly see an uptake when there's a sellout band playing the O2 Academy. Leeds O2 Academy is one of the venues you want to play. This was like the focal point of gigs, really. It was like, oh, imagine getting to play there, it'd be amazing. Any weekend in, in Leeds, there's like a sea of bands playing. It's a really, really strong place if you want to start music or even get into music. Yeah.